everyone get this out here back for another video in this video i'm going to be unboxing one of my oracle decks that i have created and this is called to the point oracle deck this is a deck created to pretty much answer yes or no questions or the latter so you have your yeses you have your no's you have your maybes you have advice meditation things like that um I have actual, actually several decks released for purchase. So even though you only see me using a couple of them, that's not the only ones that I do have. Um, make sure that you check out my Make Playing Cards URL. It's Gifted Soul Channel Creations. If you just want to look it up at makeplayingcards.com in the search engine or... Um, look in the description box below my channel link or not my channel link but my channel banner um and it should be there as well i have not yet put it on etsy and that's because i was waiting for my first and my uh copy my own copy of it to come in so that is why you do not see me using the other ones because i do not have copies of them in myself yet but i am working on that um Right now, all I have is the Love on the Brain Oracle deck, which is why I'm constantly advertising it. And then now I have this one. And this is not even the second deck that I created, nor is Love on the Brain Oracle the first I created. It's just the first one that I have released. And in this case, this is just the second one that I have purchased for myself to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So, um... I wanted to go with another simple deck. This isn't a deck with different images. This is just the same background um, for the backs of the cards and also on the faces of the cards. Um, however, I did, you know, make it a little refreshing by providing you different colors of the rainbow to make it more captivating so let's go ahead and look so i have taken it out of the packaging that it came in it will come in a make cards.com envelope um, or shipping uh, mailer if you are to purchase this from make cards.com um so yeah and if you are to purchase it from me on etsy which probably after i get through doing this video i will go ahead and make it available on my etsy shop you will get the deck it will still be in a strength wrap i will probably provide you with a organza bag with it i don't know what color i'm going to use yet but um i'll figure all that out later um and it is going to take some time for you to get the decks in regardless of if you're going to go ahead and get it from me or if you're going to get it from makeplaincards.com directly. Because what I am going to be doing is I am drop shipping because I am not able to get my own stock of any of the decks that I have created because it's just way too expensive for my budget. Uh, so again, if you want these decks, you can purchase them directly, directly from the printing facility that I have uh, created the cards on or uploaded my cards on. Or I can purchase it for you. You give me your payment. Half of your payment will go to your order uh, for me to place on my account for your cards. And then I will ship them to you. You will get extras if you buy them from me. But if you just get them from MakePlanCards.com, you will only receive um, the cards and the shrink wrap um, and in their packaging. And that's all they put in there. I don't even know. I think they may put a piece of paper in it. I don't. I didn't even check the look this time. I just took my deck out. Um, but yeah. And if you hear any heavy breathing or snoring, that is just my six-year-old nephew. I just couldn't wait to go ahead and unbox this for you guys. And I tried to wait, but I got impatient. When I have a card deck, whether it's mine, a friend's, mass market, I don't care. I'm ready to open it. So, um, and they're gonna be here for a while, and I'm not about to wait. And I want to go ahead and use this deck. So. I'm probably hoping to do a live stream with this today at some point, if not today, eventually. So these are the backs. Okay, so these, this is the back. Let me take the shrink wrap off of it really quick. Um, this is 80 cards or maybe 78. Uh, you're definitely going to have to, it'll be in the description box. Everything will be corrected down there. But now that I have a million and one decks, not literally, but it feels like it, 
uh, created and published, or I guess you can call it published. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with the amount of cards, but it's between 78 or 80. Um, and what I want to do is go ahead and show you the instruction card first. So I pulled it from the back. Um, and by instruction card, what I mean is this is just the card, the greeting card, if you will, uh, that tells you what the deck was designed for. And yeah, so yeah, this is what that looks like. And it says, to the point Oracle created by Gifted Soul was designed to provide concise answers to those seeking clarity regarding specific questions, more so those that can be answered with a yes or no response. So there you have it, a clear cut and dry, simple guide. That's the only manual that you will need with this deck. And you probably won't need that because it's common sense really once you go through the cards what the um what they're used for for the most part but very beginner friendly obviously um yeah so this is a yes card and i think i have we'll go through it together but um so what i've done is i found a background and this is not, I don't think this is the complete background because when I put the backgrounds and the pictures and whatever I'm trying to use on the place that I'm designing my cards on, what happens is, is if I put it like, it's a certain way that you have to put it in. Um, this whole image, there's actually a little bit more to it. Uh, I think a little bit more color to it, but again, it's not going to, once you put the image in on each card, it's not going to show you the, the full thing. So, uh, yeah, but it still came out great, right? So we have the yes here and we have, I just picked random colors for some, some I actually, it was channeled and different colors came on mine at different times, different words phrases things like that um i'm using the font not font but um well yeah the font is called glow on canva that's what i used uh for the the colors the font so it's supposed to like i don't know how to explain it but it's like the recent thumbnails that i have made in my videos that you see that's what i used it's supposed to have like a glowing type of effect but so we have a yes we have a no maybe soon i also have time frames in here y'all um not like complete time frames but you'll see you will see just let's dive in so we have later invest do more research Patience is required. Thank you, big truck, for not letting me be great. <laughs> Prioritize. It's not what you need. Stop asking this question. Now, this one, I don't know why it came out like this because I could have swore that I realigned it. I guess it's fine, though. But um, So what this one is for, when I say realign, I meant lined it up for it to be straight but i think it's fine um so yeah i put this in this deck because a lot of the times people will ask the same question over and over and over and over and over again i can be guilty of it myself so i'm not just you know judging you know people but um and this is just the you know the icing on top of the cake that says okay listen um, we have to change our mindset and we have to either ask a completely different question or maybe rephrase your question that could even, and you know what? I should have included a rephrase your question card. I don't know why I come up with this stuff after the fact, but, um, so we have unclear and I put it like in a foggy, you can't tell on camera really, but it's like a, a grayish so it could look you know reminisce um not reminisce but you know be like reference towards fog 
fogginess. Now, this, I had to edit my deck. And what I did was, because I accidentally, in editing the, trying to get all the cards uploaded, what I did was I ended up forgetting um, I didn't forget Gemini. What I did was, is I had to fix this card. And when I put it, when I, I thought I re-uploaded it and I didn't. So I had to go back and put it in and I could only put it like in the middle of the card deck. So it's not supposed to be, the, oh, yeah, the Zodiac signs are not supposed to be this soon. Um, but yeah, this is why Gemini pops up and then you don't see the rest of them until later on. So we have Gemini and I'm going to put that to the side just because, uh, we have trust your intuition. I do love my deck, but there are a couple of cards I am kind of annoyed with, not the words, the phrases. It's just that some of them, I feel like not some of them, but, uh, this one, for example, it looks kind of lopsided to me. I don't know. It's fine, honestly. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. But um, yeah. Okay. Temporary setbacks. The ball is in your court. Take a new approach. Visualize. Take risk. Let go. Initiate. So here we have the time frames. And by time frames, I mean just like the seasons and zodiac signs and also like soon and later stuff like that so autumn spring which is what we're in now summer winter and you can actually do a lot with this intuitively uh, intuitively with just like the keywords not even like i know it's just one keyword in winter you you would think you would not be able to do anything with that but like I've been thinking about it and you can do a lot with just that. So you just have to quiet your mind. We have Aquarius. So what I did, see, like I told you before, you were going to get to it again. It's because of how I had to do this particular card. And this one in particular, I'm pretty sure I, I, it was supposed to be like that, like off to the other side on purpose. I put the Zodiac sign symbol and then the name we have libra now we have leo aries sagittarius pisces and y'all i think this is when i discovered that i have been spelling pisces wrong for like forever now like i don't know how i didn't catch it um i think i had uploaded a video for pisces or something on YouTube. I don't know what I was doing, but I, I, my mouth was dropped open when I realized that I have been spelling it wrong. Luckily, I figured it out before I made this or completed this deck. So, uh, yeah, we have Cancer. As you can see, the water signs are in blue. And now we're on to the earth signs, and they are green, of course. So, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And now here are some more time frames here. We have months, weeks. I should have put some numbers in here, but you know what? I think we're good. We have days, um, years. We also have meditate, never say never. And I'm waiting on a particular card that this is one the top cards I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I've already showed you one of them. It was a stop asking this question card. That's the main one that I was looking forward to. So I'm going to put that right there in another lifetime. Be willing to leave something behind when you least expect it. Absolutely not. Try again. You're not ready. Yield. And uh, Triple Moon Goddess 1111. Um, I think she gave me this idea. I was going to put pause or something and she told me to. Or did I have it? Or I don't know. She I don't know. But thank you, uh, Triple Moon Goddess. Uh, I remember her helping me with this card. 
I'll have to go back and look at our conversation, but um, I don't know exactly. Like, I know we were talking about it, but anyways, she has seen the deck before you all, not all of it, but I showed her sneak peeks of it before I even completed it. So, um, yeah, in your dreams, I wasn't trying to be funny there, but you know, I put a little humor in it. If you get it, you get it. Get her done. Change your mindset. Do you really want this? Okay, this is another one that I was looking forward to seeing. Or when hell freezes over. <sighs> yes, I... Yeah, this can be kind of a blunt deck a little bit. So that's not your style for yourself or your clients or whoever you're reading for. I, I, I mean, you can take the cards out because I don't have that many in here that are spunky like that. But... Um, yeah, so what I did here, which is probably obvious, but um, what I did here was I put when hell freezes over, right? I put when hell in red, freezes in blue, and then over in red to kind of balance the colors out a little bit. Um, now, I don't know if I did this orange or if I did it red, because orange is more of like you know hell but red I guess will go with it too so we have the past is holding you back release it clear your space it's okay not to know the answers every wish is your command so what I recommend with this deck is to really only pull one or two cards um when answering one question or you can do like v does with her crystal says oracle deck which is right here that's my chair and what she does is she'll pull like maybe three or four and she says she'll do like a voting system like for example if there's like three or four yeses or cards that indicate yes that would mean even though you may have one or two that say no she's going to go with the um one with the majority of votes so you can do that too and i may do that as well so delays are on the horizon believe in your power we have guaranteed negative which means no we have a hell yes we have a hell no we have so we cut out due to storage i don't know which card we stopped at uh i think we were on hell yes hell no um negative your damn skippy don't hold your breath which means very low chance of it happening you know it and here's another one of my favorites ask a tarot deck hmm don't ask me why i put that in there like i want it the deck to be different obviously and i want it to have humor and i want it to um, I mean, I, I feel like this is a good deck for intuition practice in a way too. Again, even though it's just one simple background and then you have your simple messages here. So it's not like it's rocket science, but I feel like it can make you think a little bit. So this is just saying for you to get more clarity, pull out your favorite tarot deck, for example. Right now, I just have on my table the mermaid tarot. And so, for example, you ask a question, a yes or no question. Let's see, will I get a Barbie dream house? Don't ask me why I asked that. It's just what came to my mind at the moment. Um, and you get the hanged man, right? So this is kind of... I guess telling you to, I should do a separate video on how to use this deck, but you know, we'll get to that at another point of my life. I don't know when, but yeah. Um, and so I, this to me, and a lot of, and yes, you can use your intuition. You don't have to go with the standard meanings here, but um, this, the hangman is telling you to kind of do a little bit more reflection and um, introspection pretty much you might need to have to think about you know this question a bit more um, think about maybe how you can ask it better or think about what having this thing or what the answer to this question really really means to you um, yeah 
So yeah, let's put that back. Um, we have anything is possible. The answers you're seeking are deep within. Allow others to assist you. Something else is better. And if you hear more snoring, that is now my 14-year-old niece. They're all around. So bear with me. So it's on the way. I'm keeping those there because, again, those are some of my favorite ones. Potential are the ones that I looked forward to showing you the most. Not the right time. Uh, let the universe do its thing. Yes, indeed. Clarity coming soon. And then what's meant to be will be. So it's only right and fitting that we do a sample reading, right? Um, yeah, so some of these, I the I'm not redoing it because I feel like, I mean, the messages, you're still going to get them, get the messages across. I don't feel like there's no point in me going in and fixing the ones that are kind of not uh, angled right just because or positioned right. And it's only a few of them. So, you know what? Godspeed. God did it that way for a reason. The universe knew what they were doing. And maybe that's just me being lazy too, but at the same time, you know what? I'm not going to mess with perfection because to me, those imperfections are perfect. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to fix those. Um, now I don't, I don't know. Now I maybe I want to fix that maybe because I feel like that's not centered correctly. And Norm, and I really didn't even want to put a text on the back of any of my decks, but to identify the deck and the help, since I don't have a guidebook, doesn't come with a box or anything like that, I want, you know, you to be able to tell it apart from your other decks, regardless of whether you have other decks created by me or anybody else. Um, so, yeah. And another thing that you can do with the time frame cards, um, you can pull them all out and use those separately too if you want to. You can use the deck how you want. Once you buy it and it's in your hands, it is up to you what you do. So let's, um, well, ask a question in your head and let's see what the answer is. Um, yeah, and I'm going to pull, I really want to stick to one card just because, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, and these shuffle beautifully, if I can. Um, I am left-handed. I don't know if you guys have wondered or even care, but I am left-handed. <laughs> um, and that is due to a physical issue. So, yeah. But just letting you know, because I know some people may wonder why you don't see my right hand in my videos. <sighs> yeah. And it's not even that because with the right proper setup, I you could, you would be able to, but due to that injury and then also the way that my table sits up um, or any table that I've had, uh, it's, it's just kind of hard to make do with that. But <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, that's one of the main reasons I don't shuffle on camera, not because I can't. I can shuffle actually oddly enough with my less dominant hand and again it's only less dominant because of the injury that I have um but like as far as it's my setup trying to do it on camera um the way that I just did it like on the table for you guys okay oh and by the way if you are you know into doing this with your cards and spreading them like that and picking one perfect 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 i want to say consistency but we're not cooking here um it's the perfect uh texture i guess you would say um card stop okay so now she's snoring very loudly at this point and i hear dogs okay um let's let's get to this so think of your question and if you need time just pause here um, um, should I do a pick a card reading or, um, I think I'm going to do a pick a card. How about that? Instead of just one. So I'm going to do three piles. Let's see. Okay. One, two, and three. I'm not going to pause too long for the simple fact that 
I don't want to have to keep talking over the snoring and then different millions of, of freaking interruptions. But um, yeah, so let's see. If you need time, just pause, meditate, do what you got to do. Let's see. So m number one, the answer to your question is the past is holding you back. Release it. So there's something or somebody that you are allowing to kind of shift your focus um, from the past. So um not shifting your focus from the past, but they are somebody or something from the past is making you shift your focus to something that is no longer, you know, in your world right now or that needs to be um, relevant. So you are letting your past hold you back. So once you release it, you will be able to get whatever this is you're looking for. So that's number one. Number two, the ball is in your court manifestation basically basically you have the tools and resources that you need to get the ball rolling you just have to take action so it could kind of be like the initiate uh yeah we had an initiate card here in my deck so um take charge be the emperor basically Okay, and speaking of Emperor, I do have a tarot deck, by the way. I just do not have a copy of it myself yet. That's why you don't see it, but you will see it eventually. Okay, um, three, ask a tarot deck. And I was going to say I, earlier, I wonder if I, it would be funny to see this card come out. Okay, so number three, you have ask a tarot deck. And I just grabbed my um, the tarot deck that was on the table. Um, just to keep from okay what is this okay because there's cards already popping out and I barely shuffled but so let's see two of cups so I feel like the answer to this will be yes but for the most part I feel like it's only like a yes if you allow someone to help you for the most part if you allow that partnership to come in for some of you you probably ask about a relationship or a partnership um, but yeah, somebody is going to come in to help support you on whatever this is. So yeah, and you don't have to just pull one card when the Ask a Tarot deck comes up, the Ask a Tarot deck card comes up. Um, but just to keep this video short, I'm just going to do one and I may only, I feel like maybe just one will be okay. But if you want to clarify more, you could do that. So yeah, so yes, you guys get a yes, um, partnership things coming together union harmony soulmate connections here um and soulmates don't have to be romance by the way it could be anybody so yeah that is what i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed that little pick a card reading and seeing my cards um i love them again there were some that i was kind of annoyed with a little bit uh, because of the simple fact that some of them needed to be realigned. But again, I'm just going to leave it like it is. I feel like it's going to be okay. Oh, well, if it, you know. Um, and also, I didn't show you guys, but I noticed this before I even opened it. Um, the shrink wrap is like, there's kind of like a rainbow effect. And then you have like, I don't know, it. you can see it better in person. But so, yeah. That's what I have for you guys. I'm actually going to probably do a, a video on Instagram, not like showing you all the cards right now, but um, doing some readings. But so thank you guys, especially if you have watched this video this long, I'm going to have to merge it. So you're going to probably get it about an hour or two after um, it gets merged or well, after it's recorded. Uh, but yeah, so check it out to the point Oracle. I'm going to add it on my Etsy shop and I will probably put it at a sales price for right now. It is, it has always been available on, um, makeplancards.com. Again, I just wasn't advertising it as much as my other decks because this is one that I did not have a copy of. And there's a few others that I don't have a copy of as well, including my tarot deck. Um, but be sure to keep an eye out. I am working on other decks, uh, slowly but surely. I am actually also working on a Spirit Baby uh, Oracle deck as well. And I'm almost done with that. I just need to channel a handful more of messages because, I don't know, I, it, I'm missing some messages. But, um, yeah, if you are interested in this deck, 
again, check out makeplaincards.com uh, and the links that will be in the description box and my channel banner where you see all the buttons, the Etsy shop, the PayPal, all of that. Um, book private readings, make sure you go to um, the description box as well. And it may be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Um, but yes, I wish you guys love and light. Please like, subscribe, share if you feel inclined to. Um, and another thing before I get off of here is the name. I, I really, I don't know. It took me a, a long time to be okay with the name because I don't know. Like I, I just couldn't come up with a name for this Oracle deck and to the point came up because, well, I mean, most, I mean, it is to the point. As, uh, for example, the Ask a Tarot card or Ask a Tarot deck, which means to pull out any tarot deck, or I could have said card, but same thing, right? Um, and, you know, I was getting to a point with that, but I kind of just lost it rambling. But, um, But yeah, because yeah, the card is kind of to the point. It's basically telling you that I don't know the answer to your question right now. But if we get a deck to assist us, then you can use an Oracle deck too. But I thought it would be more fitting to say tarot deck here. But yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. And I hope we can see each other again in the next one. I will probably be doing a live stream with these. I don't, I thought about going outside to do a stream today, but it is kind of breezy. So I don't know about that just yet, but, um, yeah, but thank you guys. Love and light. And I hope that we can connect again soon. Take care.